I am Kevin Ioli. Welcome to Yahoo Sports. And my guest right now is a familiar one, although it's been a little while since I've had a chance to talk to Gennady Golovkin, the IBF middleweight champion, April 9th in Japan. He will add, try to add another, I should say, try to add another belt when he fights Ryoto Murata. And um, as I said, in Japan, Gennady, how you doing, my friend? Gennady, you can't that. Да, все замечательно, все все отлично, чувствую себя здорово. Everything is great, everything is amazing. The training camp is going according to, is going according to the plan. I'm in great mood uh, and I'm really excited. I should mention, uh, by the way, that uh, helping us is Konstantin Garnoff, who is going to uh, do some of the interpreting for Gennady, and we appreciate that. Uh, Gennady, uh, first of all. It has been a long time since you boxed. You know, you're one of the guys that has fought a lot in your career since you turned pro. Uh, you haven't been in the ring in, what, 15 months. Uh, how has that affected you? You're almost 40 years old. I think you're going to be 40 years old the day before the fight. What is the impact of that long layoff been? Well, I'm still a fighter, I'm still hungry, I'm still eager, and of course I've had a long break, uh, but it gave me an opportunity uh, to train more thoroughly, and I was training uh, to fight against this one opponent particular opponent. Uh, and I picked several times. Uh, I was uh, ready in December, then the fight was uh, originally postponed to February, and I picked in February again. Uh, and now we're talking about April. So, but overall, I feel great, ready, and really, really eager to get in the ring. Gennady, I guess one of the things uh, I want to ask you is before you fought Canelo Alvarez for the first time, you were fighting, you were just calling out all the top guys. You were trying to get the biggest fights that you can get. Um, you got two bouts um, with uh, Canelo, and I'm sure they're still uh, leave a sour taste in your mouth. But since then, you, your competition level has gone down. Uh, you know, you fought Zara Mehta, who was your mandatory Steve Rolls. Why has that been? Why haven't you been able to get those big names in the ring like you did once you got Canelo? Once you fought Canelo, it would seem like that would have been the way to jump up and take on some of the, the big names that, that exist out there. Kevin, it is a good question indeed, and uh, I don't want to blame anybody, don't get me wrong, but uh, trust me, I still want to box, I still want to challenge top fighters, I still want to be active, but as you obviously know, I signed with the zone, and this is how they see um, the development uh, of my career, this is how they see how they approach uh, the business of boxing. After your second fight with Canelo, he has gone on. He's unified the 168 pound title. He's going up to uh, 175 in May. Before I guess uh, you will see him after that, assuming you're, you know, both of you guys are successful in your upcoming fights. Has it been a little painful to watch? You know, he just signed what is it, three fights for 160 million dollars? Him getting these big fights while you're sitting there trying to get, you know, anybody of note into the ring. Um. First of all, I never count other people's money. I was not brought up this way. And uh, secondly, um, around the time when those uh, two fights happened, I said that uh, whoever wins those fights will get an amazing opportunity and will probably be unattainable for other fighters. Because at that time, if you look at it, who was at the third position, fourth, fifth, they could not be compared. So. Those two fighters, me and uh, him, we were at the top. And the result of those fights opened up like the future for, for the fighter who prevailed. 
And Andy, um, you got a draw and a loss in those two fights. And, you know, you could have won both of them. They could have both been draws. I mean, they were very obviously very close fights. Uh, you fought what you called at the time Mexican style. Uh, you've had a few, you know, fights since then, uh, working with your uh, trainer, Jonathan Banks. Um, I saw some change. I thought anyways, I saw changes in you against Zarameta in the way you attacked, especially really making a big commitment to the body. And I wonder would you say your style is amended from Mexican style? And is it something slightly different than it was, say, three or four years ago? Ну, прям, что так взять и отойти от того стиля, который у меня был, в принципе. Um, of course, uh, I did not abandon the Mexican style completely. I uh, probably amended it a little bit. And of course, uh, I did not forget what I uh, knew. Uh, Jonathan Banks added uh, certain things, uh, he added variety. So now uh, I have a more expanded uh, like arsenal, so to say. And uh, at uh, uh, during the Shermeta fight, we tried certain things. Uh, we um, tried to um, apply a different approach uh, to make it more interesting. And I believe that uh, I gained more experience. I become more versatile, a more versatile fighter, and I grow. Um, Gennady, do you feel like that style you showed against uh, Zarameta would have been, I know Zaramena and Canelo are different fighters, but had you fought that same style that you fought against Zaramena, against Canelo, do you feel that that would have been effective and and going after his body the way you did Zaramena's? Uh, it's difficult for me to say right now whether that style would be effective or not, uh, but I personally believe that I got better. I became a more versatile uh, fighter. I expanded my arsenal. And of course, with age, uh, you try different approaches uh, based on your uh, abilities, based on what you can do at this particular moment. And uh, you uh, also have to um, take into consideration the fact that I have a different team right now with a different philosophy, and uh, we trying out new things. Uh, as for the fight with Canelo Alvarez, we know each each other uh we've seen each other in the ring and uh we uh pretty much know what to expect from each other two more questions for you gennady one about riota morada um you know he's uh got the title uh, i don't know that he's fought anybody remotely close to you he's lost uh to hassan and dom and also to rob brandt uh one back on rematches with both of those guys what is the biggest concern you have about fighting Murata? Is it the fact that you're fighting him at home where he's going to have that, you know, at, at Saitama, that huge home advantage? Um, Kevin, you correctly pointed out that, um, in my opinion, uh, he uh, has not had a chance uh, to face a fighter uh, of uh, my level or uh, like to see the boxing that uh, I'm going to uh, demonstrate. Uh, at the same time, I do want to diminish um, like his uh, wins. I don't want to say anything bad about the guys uh, over whom he prevailed and uh, the fact that uh, in his rematches, uh, he avenged both losses says a lot. In his interview, he said that uh, a fight against me would be the pinnacle of his career. Uh, he trained for that fight very seriously. And uh, we also know each other personally. We even sparred at some point uh, during the training camp some time ago. I, well, let's wrap it up on this thing, Gennady. You know, you've had a wonderful career. You've been a world champion for a long time. Uh, what are you, 41, one and one with 36 knockouts? But when your career comes to an end, if you don't have a chance to have your arm raised after fighting Canelo Alvarez, would you consider your career to be a disappointment? Absolutely not, Kevin. I'm already a grown man, as they say. Очень просто на это смотрю, и я очень благодарен тем людям, кто мне помогал дойти до такого результата. Я, я также считаю, что это результат. Um, I will not feel disappointed хороший. at all. I'm a grown-up man, and uh, of course, I'm very happy with my career, uh, with the achievements, and uh, 
Obviously, uh, we realized that uh, in order to achieve what I achieved, uh, you have to be a pretty good boxer. And uh, speaking about that fight, if it takes place, it's, it's going to be a bonus uh, in my career. If not, I will still feel comfortable and happy with what I've had. One of the greatest middleweights of all time. You can see him uh, on April 9th in Japan against Ryota Murata. That's Gennady Golovkin. Gennady, thanks, my friend. Best of luck to you. Anytime, sir. Yes. Thank you, Gennady.